Another way to apply adjustments is with quick brushes. At the top of the adjustment menu are the quick brush options. We won't cover all of these individually as they're pretty self-explanatory. What I mainly want to get across are how to use the brush functions. In this image I'm going to use the vibrancy brush to paint in the vibrancy adjustment only on the light colored mountains here in the middle of this image. In the brush control window that pops up I have three brush modes. The first is normal brush mode. With this selected I can paint the adjustment directly onto the image. Click the feather here to soften the brush strokes that I've made. This mode will work best with a brush overlay on, which we'll talk about shortly. The last one will allow you to remove the adjustment you've painted in, much like an eraser. I then have sliders to set the brush size, softness, and strength. I'll want to turn on detect edges here, so if I brush in the dark or green mountain areas, Aperture will see that that's an edge and not apply the adjustment on them. Okay, so I think I got most of it. We can take a look at the results by turning the adjustment on and off. In the brush window, click the action button and then color overlay to see exactly where I've painted. I've definitely missed a few spots, so I'll go in with this overlay on and correct it. As I go along the green hill here, notice how detect edges is working. The effect stays on the brownish rocky areas, but not the green. If I do go too far in though, some won't spread over. I can fix that by switching to the removal brush, by clicking the eraser here, or just hold down the option key while painting, and notice the minus button on the brush cursor. This means I'm in the removal brush. Besides the red overlay, I can view the brush strokes in white on black, the results on black, or the results on white. Up here on this ridge, things are getting a little too purple. So I'm going to use the removal brush at a reduced strength to decrease the adjustment to a degree, but not to remove it completely. I'll then take the saturation brush to the sky and make it a little more blue. I'm going to have the red overlay on the whole time to keep track of where I'm painting better. Detect edges works better when using a small brush. But if I get some onto the mountains, that's okay, as I can just remove it later when I'm done.
I can adjust the saturation further here with the amount slider. You can also only brush onto shadows, highlights, or the midtones of an image. That also is selected from the action menu in the brush window. So I'll lighten just the shadows in the shrubby area of the foreground here. Using quick brushes can be great for applying multiple adjustments to different areas of a photo.